In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to look at how Eva Murray created these dashed lines for her Makeover Monday Viz this week. So I'm going to start, I'm using Superstore sales in this example, and I'm going to just go ahead and look at maybe sales by quarter. Something very simple like that. So if I look back over at, at, at Eva's, you can see she's got a mark at the beginning, a mark at the end, and then it looks like dashed lines in the middle. Well, really, the trick is that you have to, these are actually white circles that make up the dashed lines. So how do we go about doing that? So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the sales field. And in this one, I'm going to make these circles. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it a dual axis and synchronize. All right, so from here, I need to create a couple of calculations. I'm going to say first or last for the name. And I'm going to say if first equals zero, then first, else if last equals zero, then last, else others. And the reason I'm creating three of these is because I need to have three different colors. If I look back over at Eva's, you can see she has different colored greens, or it looks like a gray and a green for the start and the end. So I said OK. And now we have a new measure called first or last. So let's go to the marks card that has the circles and drag that to the color shelf. And let's look at our calculation. Let's edit our table calc. And it's doing table across, which is the way we want. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that in by clicking on specific dimensions. So now it's just a matter of on the first, I'm going to maybe make that a light green, make the last a dark green. And then for the others, I'm just going to go ahead and maybe make it white. And there we go. Just like that, we've got dashed lines. So I can go ahead and maybe drill this in by month. Oops, that broke my calculation, but that's okay. I can go ahead and fix this. We want to do it by month. And there you go. Now you've got dashed lines for every month. We could maybe put region on the rows. And now we have little spark lines. So I can go ahead and shrink these up. Oops, undo. So I could go ahead and hide the axis on this side. And then maybe drag the whole edge over and make little spark lines. OK. So uh, in this case, we probably need to make the circles quite a bit smaller. But you can still see the dashed lines. So let me undo, because I don't really like that. OK. So there we go. So there's your dashed lines. Uh, really simple method. I hadn't ever thought of really doing them that way before, but it works really well. Um, another option is to use the pages shelf. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and drag uh, order date to the, uh, again, just repeat this viz, put sales on the rows. And then I can go ahead and drag uh, order date also to the pages. And I want to make these circles and do show history and turn on uh, the trails. My trails are going to be dashed lines. And we want to do that for all marks. So now if I just slide this to the end, you'll see I've got dashed lines there as well. So two methods, very simple, and hopefully you found that useful. Have a great day.